Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christiana or Triple T and if you're new here, welcome. So today in New York, it's only 55 degrees out but I'm freezing. Obviously you can tell I'm wearing a jacket. <laughs> and if you have been following me since day one, you probably have noticed that I took a little break, a two week hiatus or a little bit over two weeks. So I'm back in action. I hope you guys are all excited. My life just is a bit hectic currently, you know, raising a three year old, working full time as a nurse and planning a wedding. The wedding planning is almost finished, kind of. It's not like I've just started planning the wedding. I've been planning it for like over the course of a year or two because of COVID got postponed and whatnot, but here we are and it's almost crunch time. So I have a few things left and that's why life has been getting in the way. Thank you everyone for being so supportive and understanding. Tonight we are headed to the dumpsters. <laughs> We're going to Bath and Body Works, Spirit Halloween for the first time. So I'm super excited because I've been watching everybody else diving at Spirit Halloween and getting fantastic scores. And we are headed to Party City and Big Lots and a few others. So stick around and let's save the world one dumpster at a time. Bath and Body Works dumpster. So it looks like they finally cleaned it. Just not on the outside. Not sure, maybe they dumped those. Let's check. They were all dumped, so sad. dumping everything now. They usually don't dump anything. Rats. All right, on to the next. Ace Hardware dumpster. Ah, uh, nothing. Spirit Halloween dumpster. There is a ton of stuff in here. I just saw a security guard, so I'm gonna grab and run. I'll show you what I got at the end. And if I have to leave, I'll just come back later, but I'm gonna grab and go. Wish me luck. Big Lots dumpster. So it looks like this is a dining room set, but nope, it's just an empty box. That's okay. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, slashed up. Those pieces are heavy, so I'm not gonna dig. Maybe another adventurous diver will come find them. On to the next. Party City Dumpster. There's a lot of trash on the ground. Mm. The cover is broken, <laughs> that's for sure. Let's go around the other way. What's that shiny thing down there? Aww. It's a cute costume. A bow.
I don't know what this is, but I'll take it. Alright, so this bag is heavy. I'm going to take it and go through it with you guys. Alright, and that's it in this dumpster. This is part of what we got from the Spirit Halloween dumpster. There's probably three more tables full that you're going to see. It was a great score. I was able to save so much from the landfill. About 50% of what I found I was able to save and the other 50% was destroyed. It was pretty upsetting because they slashed the costumes all over the place, pretty unsalvageable. So it upset me a bunch, but I was able to save half of it. So that's a win. Anyway, let's dive right in. We got three needle or injection pens, one red mouth colorant, a clip for your hair or like a pin or I don't know what those are actually called, but you put it in your hair and it makes it look pretty. We have a pumpkin hat clip-on, super cute. Two pairs of press-on nails, one that's black and white with like red blood and crosses, one that is maroon with black rhinestones and crosses. We got two pairs of these ruffle gloves, brand new. A fairy wing set, so that just wraps around your arms. We have two pumpkin containers, one where the handle is cracked off, but I can just remove the other one and use it as a candy container for Halloween for the front of our house for the trick-or-treaters. Then we found this hammer. It is a little bit broken up, so this piece doesn't quite attach, <laughs> but I can duct tape it with black duct tape and it'll look just fine because it is Halloween after all. And this side is fine, but this side is missing it. If you hit hard enough, it squeaks. Oh, that also happens. <laughs> and the glue comes off, so I can just re-glue that. But I don't know if you heard it squeaking. No, it sounds horrible that I'm banging it on the table. Anyway, it squeaks. Take my word for it. I'm going to fix that up and it'll look just fine. Hey, Halloween things can look broken anyway and it'll fit right in. Then we have some fog juice and a Nightmare Before Christmas mug, which is adorable. Super cute. I love this. I don't really know why they threw it out. Probably because of the other side. It says, aren't you scared? Every day is Halloween. So I don't think that like metal bar is supposed to be bent. And there's a little like paint chip on the corner, but it's perfectly fine. It's super cute. Zero spins around. I absolutely love this thing. There are a little bit of like invisible cracks throughout Jack's face, but it's not through the mug, so it's perfectly fine. I love it. Then we have a marshmallow mask. It is cracked right there, but even if you put some clear glue, stick it together, or don't do anything, it's still fine. No one's going to be like, oh, that trick-or-treater had a cracked mask. No, they won't. <laughs> then we have some fringe gloves, very long gloves, a set of like arm cuff decorations i don't know but it's stretchy and pretty a fake cockroach some spider-man webbed wonder antibacterial we've got this long fortnight i don't know what that is like a a hatchet it can't be a hatchet it's humongous some tool that you like walk around with it's squishy but it's you know one of those props so that's a great score. And then we have these two other um, props. One that's like the devil's pitchfork and the other one that is a skull with a horn. It is bashed in, but honestly, Halloween, creepy. It still goes with the vibe. So 
I like it a lot. It can be salvaged. So that backdrop, actually, I left it up because I'm trying to make a channel for my daughter doing like opening surprise toys and like doing fun stuff because all these other children I see are like doing like cute fun things on YouTube and so many people watch them. So I thought I'd start one for my daughter. So I left it up after filming her video and used it as like a little backdrop for this reveal. Anyway, let's see what else we got from Spirit Halloween. I found a better way to show you how it squeaks. See? Still fine. I just gotta duct tape it a little bit. We also got all of these costumes. Granted, there was probably like 25 costumes and I only could salvage these four, but at least we could save some stuff. So we got this bride and groom skeleton set, a blue M&M pair of long socks, a flash mask, and I don't know if that's like a waistband or like a belt or a headband, but it came with a flash set. They did snip this area, but it's easily fixable. So I decided we could keep that. We also got a alien headband, a headband with a red bow, a police officer hat, some Wonder Woman tights, a red riding hood costume, only the red cape and hood. The costume was chopped up. We also found this Chucky costume. The skirt was actually sliced right on the seam. So I thought we could salvage that and even like connect it with safety pins and it would look cool because you know, Halloween and that kind of vibe. So I saved that. We also have this Woodland Huntress outfit. Only the bodice and the little satchel. Everything else was destroyed. We have this Snow White outfit, but the bodice has a little cut through it, but I thought we could sew that up and easily fix it. We have these Greek costume pieces. So we have like a leaf armband. We have two headbands and these Roman sandals and we have this Naruto headband. Finally we got these items. We have these two knives, one that is light up and one that is bloody. So if you hold it back and forth the blood runs through which is super cool. We got this big Beetlejuice statue. It was originally $42.99. I think they broke it, or if it did break, they ended up snipping the wires, which is unfortunate because if I put it back inside, I can't get the other ends for me to splice it back together, so I won't be able to make it work. I'm just super curious on what it said, um, but I can glue it back together and it could be a statue without it speaking. Then we have these fallen angel wings, which is completely perfectly fine brand new in the package and we got this inflatable wavy arms guy so it comes with like a fan that sticks to the costume and it inflates which is insane and that costume was 50 bucks so really fantastic score from the spirit halloween dumpster this is a grab bag from the party city dumpster so let's dive right in and see what we got so this was the dress that i pulled out already that i showed in the footage this is like a little child's dress let's see what kind i think it's like a witch or some type of Ooh, that was number one connected there of mystical cute outfit super cute I think it could be like a pink purple witch like super cute and like the bottom is all poofy it's like definitely not a cheap costume I wonder if it says the name on here no it doesn't say the name but it can definitely be like a cute witch pair it with like a little witch hat and the child would look super super cute I wonder if my daughter will fit into this. This year though, should I keep it a surprise? No, I'll tell you early. 
She's going to be a lobster, and so is our dog, Bella. And I'm going to put them in, like, a fake pot. And me and my fiancé are going to have lobster bibs on and utensils and pretend like we're eating them. <laughs> so that's our family costume. <laughs> anyway, what else do we got? All right, so this balloon doesn't look like it's popped, which would be fantastic. It looks like a huge Buzz Lightyear balloon. If it's popped, listen, I wouldn't be shocked, but it looks flat. Hmm. All right, it is giant. Oh, no. There's the pop. All right. I should have known. <laughs> so, that one's trash. This one doesn't look like it was used. Happy birthday. Yeah, very cute. We've got one balloon. We have a pack of party cups. 10 ounce plastic cups. I think a few are broken down here, but you know what? Yeah, just a little bit cracked over here. The majority are just fine. So that's a great score. What else? Oh, I've seen these before. I think you like stick them in your mouth and like bite them and they squirt all over the place. I don't know. That kind of looks gross to me, but <laughs> I guess I can donate that to the food pantry and see if, you know, someone there will utilize it. <laughs> then we have, oh, another number one stick all cracked, but we can use this top part. Let's see. Oh, I see a bow. Oh, yes, we found this one in the footage. A little Anna hair bow. These are popped balloons. Ooh, oh, no, popped. What else? This one is, oh, if this one's not popped. It's super cute. It's Elmo. Oh, gosh, I think it's perfect. Yep, perfect. Great. Score. Another lovely balloon. What else do we have in here? What is this? <laughs> hmm. Is this an animal costume? I think so. Or it's an infant costume. Nope, it's for dogs. Pet costume. A party dog. What? I think it's missing this panda head part. But maybe it's still in the bag. That's so cute. It has a piece of bamboo. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's the bag of that other stuff. What are they actually called? Jelly blasters. Yep. You see, you put these in your mouth and they like pop all over the place. It looks gross, but you know what? I see people eating them, so maybe they're tasty. Oh, we have another rogue one. Okay, what else do we have in here? A bag missing a handle but you know what people will take gift bags without handles and anyway i can remove that handle and just hand the gift over like that so that's still a good find we have a giant oh nope that's popped never mind we've got a battery and maybe the rest are poured out in the bag so we'll try and find that this is oh that thing that i found I think this is where you like string balloons on here and it becomes like a balloon garland. So I'm gonna keep that and save it for a party. Oh, a little pinata destroyed. What else? Some plates, Batman plates. Da -na 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 Batman. These are still good. Good score. Oh, here's the panda face. Oh, so cute. I love it. Love that. This one, oh, I think, yeah, there was something supposed to be attached to this top piece. And then when you push the button, it flies off. But that's broken. All right. Next up, these balloons, they're all popped. Popped. All right. Maybe this one? No. Sliced. All right, unfortunately, no other rogue batteries are in here either. 
All right, let's see what we got all together. This is what we got in the Party City dumpster. We got quite a few nice things. So we got a stack of Batman plates, a gold gift bag, one double A battery, a balloon garland type, whatever that is called. I don't even know. <laughs> you can make a balloon garland out of that. We have two balloons, one with a bunch of the Elmo characters. I mean, Sesame Street characters. And it says, happy birthday. And one huge Elmo balloon. Two of those one um, cake toppers, but they broke the ends, but it's still okay. I can just cut them down in the middle and it'll work just fine. And Anna bow for your hair a big party pack of 10 ounce plastic cups we've got this pack of nine jelly blasters this adorable like witch costume for a child the bustle is adorable it's super poofy so this costume definitely was not cheap and then we have this super cute panda costume for a puppy Love it. Great score at the Party City Dumpster.